In this short tutorial, we're just going to look at uh, creating triggers in Unreal. So some very basic stuff. Um, in fact, let's have a look. So if I press play, what we've got is a set of trigger boxes and these trigger off different things. So we have a particle system starting. We have a light that switches on and off. Uh, we have a physics object that we can start. Uh, we have a sound and then this last one we actually have uh, a number of different things all going at once so what we've got there is a particle system we've got a light and we've got a sound that start playing and that's in a slightly different way so we'll look at that afterwards so let's start and look at how we can create these initial simple things so let's press escape um, so what i'm going to do is i'm going to open another level and this level has all these um, trigger boxes set up and then all our objects set up for this as well. So the trigger boxes themselves, uh, if you just go in and search for trigger, we have these box triggers, capsules, spheres, and trigger volume. I'm just using this simple box trigger. There. With all of these as well, just to make it easier uh, for when I press play to be able to go into these, um, just for testing purposes, I've got these visible as well in the game level. So let's just escape that. So with that, what we do is if we go in in there, uh, we can just go down to the rendering tab. Where are you? Rendering. Let's just move this down. And we can actually um, uncheck this actor hidden in game. So that's just unchecked there. That's false. That just means it's really easy to see. What I've also done with these is I've named them as well, just to make it easy for me to grab these. So I've um, trigger BC fire, trigger fire, trigger light, trigger physics, trigger sound, um, just to keep organized. Okay. What we could actually do with these as well is um, we could add a folder called this triggers. Oops. Bring this down. So I could get my triggers, right click, and uh, in fact, I can just drag and drop, I presume, into this folder. There we go. And there we've got all of those in there. So again, just to organize everything uh, within our outliner. With these objects, I've just got a couple of things switched off. So with a particle system, let's go in. Uh, if I just search details for this, type auto. So I've got this auto activate switched off. So if uh, by default that's switched on, so it just means when you bring the particle system into the level, it starts playing straight away. So I switch that off so we can control it. Uh, I've done the same with the sound. So if we just click on this explosion cue, I've got exactly the same. I've got this auto activate switched off there as well. Uh, with the light, I just search for visible. We've got this visible switched off. So again, the light isn't switched on when you um, start the level. And then uh, just with this, the object that we're going to make into the stat, the physics object, um, I have, let's just switch, get rid of that. We've just got this set to movable. Um, so if we just go into my transform, there we go. We've got that switched on to movable. Otherwise it won't allow that to start, start acting like a physics object. Um, so they're the basic ones. This is, I'll, I'll leave this one for now for the uh, blueprint class. Um, let's just deal with these. So let's start setting this up. I'm going to open up my blueprint level, my level blueprint. Let me just drag this down and just dock this. And what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to add on all of these triggers ready to go. So I'm going to start off with this one. I'm going to go in, right click. And we're going to do this add event for trigger fire. So I'm going to go in, add a collision, and then add an on act to begin overlap. Just zoom into that. There we go. Got that on there. So I'm going to have the others uh, in exactly the same way. Let's go in. Let's click on this one. Obviously, you can do this bit by bit as you're adding the functionality, but just to get all these in. So again. Uh, collision, add an act to begin overlap. 
This is for the trigger light. Click on this one. Collision. Begin actor overlap. Uh, actually, for the light as well, I'm going to add um, an end overlap. So basically, when you go into the box, it's going to switch the light on. When you go out of it, it's going to switch it off. So um, let's grab my light trigger again. It's in exactly the same place. Add event, collision, and we just do the end overlap there. Look at my trigger physics. Let's click on my um, sound one. An event, collision, we can act overlap. And then let's just go in and add the one for the blueprint class, which we'll look at in a bit. So collision, we can overlap. Do that. Amazing. So all that's done. Let's just compile and save. Let's just go in. Uh, so now we need to start bringing in the references to the bits we're going to control. So I'm going to start off with a particle system. Let's grab that. Let's go in. And let's look at this. Our active beginner overlap trigger fire up here. Um, so let's right click first of all. And we're going to use this create a reference to. So because I've got the selected, it's creating a reference to our P fire, our particle system. Let's drag that in. Just drag that over there. And now we can create the functionality. So to, to start the particle system going, we just use activate. So if we use this activate particle system component, just drag this out, drag this up, and then let's plug this in. Easy as that. That's it done. So compile, save. Let's go in and let's just test this one. So we go into this. It starts that particle system working. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to add an end overlap on that, you can do a deactivate to stop that going, but I'll just leave it at that for now. So let's look at the next one, which is the point light. So again, let's go in, let's select our light and the level. Let's go in here, let's right click and let's create a reference to it. And let's drag from there and let's do a set visibility. And I'll do the set visibility point light component. Just click that on. So just drag this up here. Let's just connect this. And then all we need to do with this um, is just check this Boolean here. So uh, by default, it's on false. I'm going to set this to true. For the end overlap, I can do exactly the same thing. In, in fact, I can use this um, one here. So let's control C and control V this. This time we're going to check this off. So this is false. Let's plug this in. And I can use exactly the same reference here. So this point light component, let's put that into the target. So let's compile. Let's save. Let's go in here and let's try this one. So there we go. Our light switching on and off. So the next one, our physics object. So let's click on our static mesh. Let's go in here. Let's right click and let's create a reference to sphere. Let's drag from this. And we're going to use a set simulate physics. And then this is a static mesh component. So again let's just plug this in and we just we've got another boolean here we just need to click on the simulate and set that to true compile save there we go final one of these simple ones let's grab our sound so let's just make sure we go in and select our sound our, our explosion cue Go in here, just right click and create a reference to explosion queue. Let's drag out and let's just do a play. Um, and there we have this play audio component. Drag that in, select that. 
file, save, press play, and now we've got our sound. Okay. So they're the very basics one, uh, very basic one. So let's have a look at this final one now. This one that's attached to the blueprint class. Um, so let's create a blueprint class for this. First of all, so I've got a folder called Blueprint Classes already. I have my original version in there. I'm just going to make one from scratch. So let's right click. Let's add a Blueprint Class. I'm going to do it of an actor type. Let's call this BC and I'm going to call this Tut Fire. Let's say. So BC for Blueprint Class. Uh, I'm going to drag this into the level straight away so I can get an idea of how big the fire is or how bright the light needs to be or anything else. Um, sometimes, so if I double click on this to open up the blueprint class, sometimes it's difficult to see what's going off if you're not referencing the level itself. So, um, so I'm going to get a few things in here. I'm going to add, so let's go to my starter content. I'm going to go to the particles and I'm going to drag in this fire. And I can just drag, hold, and then drop in here. That's my fire in there. I'm going to add in a point light. And then I'm also going to add in an audio um, file as well. So I'm going to find this fire cue. fire cute let's drag and drop that one hold is that taking it there we go and drop that one in as well uh, so just a couple of things I'm going to change in here um, I'm just going to lift the, the light up a little bit I also want to change the color temperature and set this to around 4,000, 5,000, make it more of an orangey light. Um, let's just save that. Okay, that'll do for now. Um, I might just take the attenuation radius down a little bit. It doesn't need to be strong. Um, maybe 150. Again, it doesn't matter. This is just a test, more for the code. Okay. And then uh, the final thing I want to do is I want to switch these off. So like we've done before with the normal ones in the level, let's just deactivate all of these. So let's go to the particle system. Go into the search details up here, type in auto. And let's click off auto activate. I might as well do this with a fire cue as well. So let's get the sound off. And then with a point light, let's go in. Let's find visible. And let's uncheck that as well. So that's all of our things ready to go, switched off. So let's look at the code for this. I'm going to go into the event graph. I talk about the event in a second. What I'll do first of all is I'll, I'll just add all the other functionality to it. So we'll add the same code that we added in our triggers to switch these things on. So let's grab my fire. Remember this is going to be activate. Let's add in our point light. So our point light is going to be set visibility. Let's just connect these up and let's check this to make that true. And then we've got a fire cue. Let's grab that and let's do a play. And there we go. Um, so let's compile and save. So we have all our functionality there. We need an event now to trigger this off. So what I'm going to do to make this uh, much easier to, to use is I'm going to create a custom event. So to do this, again, really easy. Just right click. Let's start typing custom. And we get this add custom event. 
so that, that you can create as many custom events as you want and uh, you can trigger different things off by these custom events so uh, really handy um, so let's just grab this name and I'm going to call this fire start no spaces in the names there we go well, I don't think we can have spaces in the names anyway let me see okay you can um, I'm not going to though I'll do it kind of coding conventions so we have this custom event this is going to plug in and this is going to be our trigger now um, this event itself so let's compile and save that and let's go back to our triggers so here we've got our final trigger uh, for the trigger BC fire let's get our reference to this blueprint class now so click on this go into our triggers let's right click and let's create a reference to BC to fire like that there and this time when I drag out this to actually get this working which is there's no particular um, We've, we've done all our functionality for this within the blueprint class what we're wanting to call this time is this custom event handler so if i just start typing the naming of it so start and then we've actually got if i do fire start but even start got that so it's referencing it and because of the context sensitivity on this it's finding that function so fire start so we didn't have, don't even have to remember the name um fully we just remember the general name of that so again let's just plug this in here let's compile and save and let's just test this out so let's go in and now we have our fire our light and our audio all starting so we have all our functionality we've got our physics our sound physics we've got our light on and off we've got our particle as well okay so um, that's just a very simple functionality uh, based in using trigger boxes, uh, a bit of level blueprints, and then just a final blueprint class to show how we interact with that as well. And that's it. Finished.